In 1940, the automobile factories of Detroit, Michigan were retooling to support the war effort. The U.S. National Amateur Bicycling Championships were held in Detroit in 1940, and Mildred Kugler won the Women's Bicycling Championship, and her brother Furman won the men's. They did not know it at the time, but another family living in Detroit in 1940 set its sights on following in the Kugler's cycling legacy. Doris Trevani was 11 years old in 1940, and she was born into a family with a deep cycling history. Her father, Alfred Trevani, was the national cycling champion of Italy in 1920. Alfred eventually became a grocer, but he made sure that his son Bob and daughter Doris inherited the cycling knowledge that he developed from years of racing. Doris started bicycling at the age of 12, and with her father as a coach and her brother as a training partner, she quickly became a successful racer. She raced for the Wolverine Sports Club, and by the age of 17, Doris was competing in the 1946 National Bicycling Championships and finishing sixth. In 1947, Doris went to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania and won her first Amateur Bicycle League National Women's Championship. It was there that she received support and encouragement from the legendary Pop Kugler, the father of Mildred and Furman Kugler, and the creator of the Tour of Somerville in New Jersey. While representing Michigan, Doris went on to win three more national championships in 1948, 1949, and 1950. Doris specialized in distances from one to five miles. Her favorite training partner was her brother Bob, who competed on the Olympic cycling sprint team in the 1948 London Olympics. Women cyclists were not even able to compete in the Olympics until 1984. In 1947, Doris won the International Dirt Bike Cycling Championships, and in 1948, she finished first in the International Sprint Championships held in Dayton, Ohio. After retiring from 10 years of competitive racing, Doris was called the queen of the nation's sprocketeers. Doris got married, became Doris Trevani Mulligan, and raised a family. When Doris was working as an attendant in the children's home of Detroit, she embarked on a 3,300-mile pedal-for-power ride across the U.S. from Los Angeles to Boston. She was 60 years old at the time, and the children who she cared for encouraged her by crying out, Doris, you can do it! Doris competed in five national cycling championships and in two international championships. She was the first and only woman to this day to win four consecutive national cycling championships. Doris was inducted into the Michigan Amateur Sports Hall of Fame in 1974. The cycling world can now say, Doris, you did it. <laughs>